Hey YouTube, this is Jaden again coming at you with another video. Um, this video I've decided to dedicate to one of, um, I would really know what, well, I wouldn't know what to call it, so I'm just going to call it this, so sorry if this wording is terrible. Um, one of um, a player's um, deck's most valuable weapons. And um, it is true whenever you hear it in um, hear it, uh, the best offense is a good defense. And so that might have given this away a little bit. But this video is dedicated entirely to perfect guards. Every Vanguard player has seen these. Know what they are? These are just all the van the perfect guards from my completed deck completed decks you know royal paladin gold shadow kagero narukami uh ott and spike brother perfect guards you know every clan has their designated perfect guard every clan They do exactly the same thing. They provide defense. Now, I'll read one of the perfect guard texts here, and this is off my flash shield easel for my royals. But it says, choose a royal paladin from your hand, but that is versatile with whatever clan's perfect guard you're using. Say you're using Pale Moon, or Dark Irregular, or Shadow Paladin, or Great Nature, or Deep Police, or... or those anything gold paladin i don't care um what you do is you place the perfect guard into the so into the guardian circle and then you discard a card from your hand that matches the clan of the perfect guard you use so for instance say you used the narukami perfect guard you would ditch a Narukami card from your hand, and that activates his skill to pr completely d protect your Vanguard or one of your units from one attack. Um, this video, you know, is probably not going to be too long, but I just wanted to, you know, talk for a second because, you know, I see a lot of people at my locals that use these, and they, and it ticks me off because so few people. You know, they're reckless with these. And then when they're in late game, when they actually need them to protect themselves, they've used them all because they'll use them at too early in the game when it really isn't important enough to use them. Or they'll have used them to guard their rear guards. I've seen people do that. And, you know, um, the whole point of your perfect guards is to be there to save you when you don't want to deplete your hand too much because it will hurt you in the long run and cause you to lose. For instance, when Dragonic Overlord the End attacks, if you use all your perfect guards in early game to protect from your, your opponent's vanguard attack and you're not even at one or two damage, you're not going to have your perfect guards when Dragonic Overlord the End is at full power and he, your opponent has another copy of the End in your hand when you don't want the End to hit you and it's, he's going to hit you and just start tearing you apart. So, I do urge you that whenever you're building a new clan, Every deck needs four perfect guards. Um, and let me see what that is. Oh. The Miami Heater beating the Milwaukee Bucks. Yay! But anyway, if no matter what clan or clans you plan on building, please, please learn how to use your perfect guards and learn how to use them smart and use them smart because you're only allotted four in a deck. Now... Every deck, I believe, should play four perfect guards. Here's why. Nine times out of ten, when you damage check in a game, you're going to reveal one of your perfect guards into the damage zone. You'll That means, so, say you have, for argument's sake, let's say all these are flash shieldy salts. I only pulled one out for the video. But, say all four of these were my perfect guards from my Royal Paladin deck. You're normally going to damage check one of them. That leaves you three in the deck. And sometimes you'll be lucky enough to where you won't damage check any of them. But the reason I play four is because I want to have three perfect guards 
to protect me against big attacks from limit breaks, double criticals, you know, excuse me, the or things like that of that nature. It there's I like helping people learn how to play the game better. I like teaching them a few tricks to make them a better player and I like I also like to ask players why they do things the way they do just cuz it helps me gain more perspective and sometimes I really don't understand why and it it there's nothing in this game that gets me more mad when someone wastes their perfect guard to protect if you use it to protect a rear guard in case in le- in case unless it is something like you're protecting silent tom cuz your opponent has one card in their hand left and you're going for the wind the win next turn I don't care you don't use these to protect the rear guard you always use them to attack the vanguard I was at my locals this Saturday and Monday and on three separate occasions I saw people I'm not gonna name names that use these to protect their rear guards and I just don't understand that so I don't care what clan you're gonna build make sure you get four copies of that clan's perfect guard I wouldn't suggest playing any clan as a competitive deck until you have at least three. Because, you know, any less than that, I don't think it'll work. That's why, for instance, if you've seen my Spike Brother deck profile, I don't play my Spike Brothers in competitive tournaments because I only have two perfect guards. Mainly because it seems this one's just... It's been slipping me. But anyway, every other deck here, I have four of these in a deck total so if you're gonna play if you're gonna play a clan you need four perfect guards with the way the game is now period but anyway i hope this video may have just stressed the importance of perfect guards because i wanted to stick something out there to just you know wake people up so if they're misplaying their perfect guards or maybe they'll see this and they'll just think twice before they use it So, I hope it helped. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And see you guys later.